Whenever I see the bridges that connect Los Angeles with East Los Angeles, I remember my family. I remember my father and my mother. My brothers, Chucho, little Jimmy, and Memo, the lawyer. My crazy sisters, Tony and Irene. To write the story of my family, I have to begin where millions of stories have begun. In a small village in Mexico, a long, long time ago. Actually, nothing like that ever really happened. That's just the way my father used to tell the story. His brother, Roberto, really died of a ruptured appendix. In those days, just after the revolution, times were hard. And my dad's in-laws couldn't afford to feed an extra mile. So my father had to leave. Now the only living relative my father knew about lived somewhere north in a village called Nuestra Señora Reina de Los Angeles. And he figured he could walk there in a day or two. ¿Estás hablando de Nuestra Señora Reina de Los Ángeles, Jalisco? ¿O Nuestra Señora Reina de Los Ángeles, Colima, pues? Hablo de Nuestra Señora Reina de Los Ángeles, en California. Oh, pues eso está hasta casa del diablo. Eso no queda aquí en México. Ese es otro país. ¿Otro país? Bueno, ¿qué quieres decir otro país? Pues otro país es... Es otro país que está al otro lado del mundo. The other side of the world. My father thought about it. Good God, he thought. It might take two weeks to walk there. Oye, te podíamos acompañar la mitad del camino. Gracias. Vale. Ándale con cuidado. Dale un lugar ahí. It took him over a year to reach the other side of the world. He walked most of the way, and we kids, well, we heard of that journey many times. He was attacked by 10 bandits in Sonora and had to beat them off with a cactus branch. He rode the back of a snorting mountain lion. But 
finally, he reached El Pueblo de Nuestra Señora Reina de Los Angeles. The one in California. The border, well, in those days, the border was just a line in the dirt. Permiso, me llamo José Sánchez, en sus órdenes. Me llamo José Sánchez. ¡Arriba las manos, cabrón! No le vuelo los sesos. ¿Cómo se atreve a meterse a mi casa a robar? No, pero, pero, perdón. ¡Cállese no, los hocico si quiere seguir vivo! Póngase las manos en la cabeza. ¡Despacio! ¡Échese al piso, cabrón! ¡Échese al piso! Pero soy hijo de... ¡Hijo de tu madre! ¡Tírese al suelo y cállese la boca! Soy hijo de Pedro Sánchez, que es primo de Joaquín Vargas, que es sufriendo Francisco Vargas. <risa> Pero si eres familia, ¿por qué no lo dijiste antes? Párate, muchacho. <risa> lo intenté, pero... ¿Y cómo está Francisco? De chamacos arriábamos vacas en el Valle de San Fernando. No lo conozco. ¿Y Joaquín? ¿Joaquín, el chiquillo Joaquín? Tampoco lo conozco personalmente. <risa> Qué bueno es tener parientes aquí. Pero si eres como mi nieto, te ves cansado. Yo creo que hasta tienes hambre. Acabo They call the old man El California because he didn't come from anywhere else. He was born right here in Los Angeles when it was still Mexico. My father had found a new home. Even then, there were bridges. My father soon joined the people crossing from their barrio on the east side of the river to do the work of the city on the other side. They mowed the lawns, took care of the children, cleaned house, worked in restaurant kitchens, but no one from the west side of the river ever crossed the bridges into the barrio. Children soon follow. First me, then my sister Irene. <laughs> my earliest memory is of the face of that gentle old man, looking at me and smiling. And I remember my father always working in his milpa. Corn in the back and beans in the front. And that's the way it always was in my house, for as long as I can remember. gonna have another. Maria, I knew it! <laughs> I knew it, Maria. He's gonna be a boy. I'm gonna have another son. This one is gonna be a 
special boy. I remember when it happened. It was a Sunday afternoon, remember? Huh? <laughs> remember that day that old Gomez crashed his car into the river? Yes, that was the day. Honey, I knew it. I walked out to the porch. I was standing there. I looked up into the sky. And I saw an angel pass by. An angel? Yes. How beautiful. Tonight we celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> then came the day everything changed when my mother didn't come home from the market. was the time of the Great Depression. I guess some politicians got it into their heads that the Mexicanos were responsible for the whole thing. I mean, they were taking up a lot of jobs. Jobs that were needed for what they call real Americans. So La Migra made some big sweeps through the barrio, and they rounded up everyone they could. It didn't matter if you were a citizen like my mother. If you looked Mexicano, you were picked up and shipped out. She had just been out shopping. She wasn't allowed to come home. My father was never told. She was all alone and she was pregnant. All these things really happened. The year was 1933. Lock her up. Back. Okay. Roll her out. Southern Pacific Railroad made the U.S. government a deal. For $14.75 a head, they took the Mexicanos all the way back into Central Mexico, hoping they would never be able to get back. Maria. Maria, pero, pero no es posible, Maria. Eres tú, Maria. Virgen Santa, ya has venido de tan lejos, has viajado tanto, mi hija, vente. Vente, tienes que comer, necesitas descansar, vamos. ¿Qué vas a hacer, María? ¿Qué vas a hacer? Voy a tener a mi niño. Voy a trabajar. Y cuando el niño tenga edad suficiente, regresaría a California con mi familia. ¿A California? Pero eso es imposible, hija. Está muy lejos y, y con la criatura. Morirías antes de llegar. Y también tu niño moriría, hija. Mira, hay que tener fe en la Virgen. No hay mal que por bien no venga. Tengo fe en la Virgen, tía. Y la Virgen no quiere esto para nuestra familia. Quiere que regrese con mi marido.
I remember the day they buried El Californio in the backyard. He left the will and left everything to my father. But he made it very clear. He didn't want to have nothing to do with the Pinchi church or the Pinchi government. He wanted to be buried right behind the house under the cornfield. And El Californio said exactly what he wanted written on his grave marker. Don Alejandro Vasquez El Californio. Died 1934. When I was born here, this was Mexico. And where I lie, this is still Mexico. My mother kept her promise. And when my brother Chucho was old enough, she set off on her long journey home. But the rains came early that year. She had gone too far to turn back. Señora, que no ve que está muy alta el agua. Solo puedo ir para adelante, señor, por favor. Mire, por favor, espérese para otro tiempo cuando baja el agua y te mate. Necesito cruzar, nunca podré regresarme aquí otra vez. Por favor, señor, necesito cruzar. Por favor. Está bien. Ándele, vámonos.
se va a alinear. No va a morir. Por favor, ayúdenme. <risa> Two years had passed since my mother was taken away. My father lost hope, but he kept working to take care of me and Irene. There he is, all grown up. My brother Chucho. And he did grow up into something special, but not quite what my father had imagined. Chucho was one of the baddest pachucos on the whole east side. My younger sister Tony, God bless her. Pretty as an angel, but sometimes she could get a little bossy. Hey, listen, hermana, these are Jimmy's pants, see? So now I want to make Jimmy's sure that they're properly ironed. And there's only one person in this whole goddamn world well, capable of doing this. That's that? me. Gracias. So, abórrate. Abórrate yourself. Get your big cholo butt moving, you see? And get Jimmy moving, too, or nobody's going to make it to the wedding on time. Hey, I ought to iron your mouth shut. And there I am. Home on leave from the Navy. Boy, was I young then. My family had scheduled the wedding when I was on leave, so I wouldn't miss it because no one could miss it. Come on, hurry up, Memo. She's going crazy. She's going crazy. Come on, come on, hurry up. Open the door, open the door. I got it, I got it, I got it. She wants side. Come on. That's one of my younger brothers, Guillermo. Quite a handle, no? So everybody called him just Memo. My sister, Irene, finally getting married. Biggest day of her life. Here, let me help you hook your dress. Mm, hurry up. Uh, ow! Irene, what happened since you were measured for this? Pues nada. They must have made a mistake or something. OK, bend over, huh? All right, one, two, three. Excuse me. It's my 
Jimmy? And there's Jimmy, the youngest of the family. He was a real surprise when he came along. But he was the heart of the family. Hey, little vato! Chucho! <laughs> hey, look at that. You're gonna have the finest pants in the whole goddamn wedding. Look at that crease. Huh? You like him? Yeah. What do you say? Ha! <laughs> Come here, you little... The house just grew and grew with the family. And the rooms weren't planned much more than the kids were. But it was home. And my parents were realizing that their oldest daughter was leaving it now. Now, don't get this wrong. Of course, they were both very happy that Edenu was finally getting married. <laughs> there was no question about it. It was a real blast. dad financially, but he had to show the world how much his daughter meant to him. It took him years to recover, but then again, what's money for? for the father of the bride to say a few words. My father wasn't a good speaker, but he had to do his duty. I want to make a brindis. Uh, I, I want to make a brindis. To, to Irene and my new son, Gerardo. Uh, well, you finally, no, I, I mean, uh, uh, um, I, I'm happy. <laughs> Felicidades. A good wife is the best thing that can happen to a man in his life. Huh? Uh, I, I know because I have Maria. Yeah. Come, come on, Maria. You know, if it wasn't for you, there wouldn't be anything. Come on, get up. Come on, Maria. This, this is my wife, Maria. Ella es la mamá. And, 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 and this is my other daughter, Tony. Yeah? Uh, and Paco. Paco. He's in the Navy. Come on. Come on over here. And, 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 uh, and Guillermo. Come on over here. And Jimmy. Venga. Jimmy. Uh, and my son, Chucho. Uh, the greatest riches a man can have in his life. Mi familia. Mi familia. Salud. Salud a todos. It was one of the greatest days in the history of my family. My sister Tony was a wow. All the guys on the holy side fantasized about her. She had been queen of the fiesta. And every guy hoped that he might be the lucky one. I give my left nut for 10 minutes when you're in the back of my shed.
Their leader was Butch Mejia from El Rincón. Of course, he and my brother had never really done anything to each other. But they were full of hate and anger, and nowhere to put it except into each other. I hear your fat sister is getting married, puto. I feel sorry for that guy, since he has to spend the night in bed with a pig. <laughs> and I'll tell you another thing. Los apostoles valen verga. Fuck you, puto! <laughs> Listen to me, puto cabrón. Today is a very special day for my family. I don't want no trouble. So I'll give you permission today, just today, to say anything you want to me. But I swear to God, you bust in there, you make any trouble, I'll find you, cabrón. I'll cut your dick off and shove it down your goddamn throat. They were both so full of macho bullshit, it was incredible. So go ahead. Insult me. I give you permission. Tú just it. Tranquilero. Have it your way, puto. But this isn't over. The next time these people come together, they're gonna be dressed in black for your funeral, pinche puto. Go home, Butch. Vámonos. Go home, Don't boys. Don't pay him no mind, eh? Needless to say, word of this spread like wildfire. A nun? Oh, what a waste. What a goddamn waste. We all thought it was a little strange that Tony wanted to become a nun. But then she always was the bossy type. And that's the type that usually becomes a nun. Hey, little mato! Going. If you guys want to learn something really high. Simon Carnal. Simon Carnal. <laughs> now, this ain't like the bullshit they teach you in school, you know, stuff you ain't never gonna need. This is something really important. I'm gonna teach you. To mambo! Yeah! Yeah! Let's go. Follow me, okay? 
Okay, now first, take the left leg, put it out like this. One, two, three, three, one, two, three, three, back, two, three, three. There you go, put your arms. We had a meat, but that was eight miles long. The corn was so high that I once got lost in there. Ah, yeah. I walked in there all day. I didn't even know where I was. I was a little chavalito, just like you. Memo was always doing homework. He did enough homework for the whole family. Deep in the corn, you know? Pulling out the weeds, pulling weeds, pulling weeds. And suddenly, I pull up a snake, you know? A big old rattlesnake, you know? At least 10 feet long, yeah? There I am, I drop him real fast, you know? And I go for this great big corn stalk, and orally, orally, orally. He's still moving. There I go, there I am. Yeah, yeah. That's the left one. They say it's important. Ah, uh, yeah, well, yeah, well. I'll be right back with you. Close the door. Hello. Yes, I'm Jose Sanchez. Okay. What? what? The police? Jim. No. no. My son Chucho? No, 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 he couldn't be involved in anything like that. Hola, jefe. Where you been, huh? Out of school now. Are you looking for a job? No, I'm not. Dad got money, Jefe. Where do you get this money? I just get it, that's all. Selling mota? Is that it? Selling mota? No, 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 Jose. Yeah, they What difference does it make? The police called here tonight. La policia! I didn't raise my children to be sinvergüenzas, delincuentes. When I think of all the years I struggled without complaining. Like, like when I came here walking all the way from Michoacán. And what your mother went through to bring you back when you were a baby. So you grew up to be a man with respect. Don't you have any pride? Look at your sister Irene and your brother Paco in the Navy. Yeah, mm. Jose, Jose suficiente. Basta. Pero tú. Selling marijuana like some hoodlum. No tienes conciencia. 
No tienes dignidad. Fuck la dignidad. Fuck it. And fuck your struggle. You think anybody cares about it here? Huh? This, this is all they respect in this country. Not la dignidad. And it don't matter how you get it, as long as you get it. I don't want to be like no Mexican. Uh-uh. -uh. You think for one minute I want to spend all fucking day pulling up weeds and mowing lawns? You got another thing coming. A la chingada con eso. I don't want to be like Irene. I don't want to be like Paco. Most of all, I don't want to be like you. No! Jose! Por favor, no! Por favor, no! Jose, pare, por favor, no! Chucho! 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 No hagas esto, mijo. No hagas esto. Get out of here. Lárgate! Get out of here! Lárgate! Get out of here! Chucho! Chucho! ¿Qué estás haciendo? Get out of here! Get this with you! Jimmy! Jimmy! What a little boy. He will come back. He will come back. There was no communication at all between my father and my brother Chucho. They were from two different worlds. To my father, there was dignity in work. He crossed the bridges every morning to work to support his family. My father felt that he was right to throw Chucho out of the house, but deep down in his heart, he didn't feel so right.
on, baby. We gotta get out of here. Come on, Ginger, let's go. Come on. You don't. I was stationed in San Diego when it all came down. So I was able to come home a couple of days later to be with the family. It was the worst for Jimmy. He was so young and he loved Chucho so much. It was hot that night. The Santana winds were blowing. They called him the devil winds. Little vato, you act like nothing's happening, you know? Just go play with your friends. I can wait out La Placa. You don't ever find me here. Okay, Chucho. I've been in bad scrapes before. I'll get out of this, okay? Mi jefita, como esta? She's been crying a lot. Y mi jefe, que dice? Never says nothing. Tell him. Tell him. No, I want to stay here. Boy, they wonder where you are. Stop this. Tony will be here any minute. Hey, Audrey, don't hurry up. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know what to do. Hurry up. Could he have done all that they say he did? No, Jose. Not you, too. I wish I could hold him again. Like when he was a little boy. Tell him I forgive him. I feel I'll never see him again, and if I can. No, Jose, la Virgen would never, ever let that happen. Huh? We will see him again. Of course we will. Apurate. Suspect Jesus Sanchez, also known as Chucho, is believed to be in the surrounding four block area. He's a known Pachuco gang leader, a known criminal. He is armed and extremely dangerous. He has killed and he will kill again. Do not hesitate to use your weapons. Your lives may depend on it. It's getting dark. Let's get this job done. Let's go! Watch your back. Ay, Paco, it's so 
good to have you home, Mijo. I can stay here at least a week. You know, it's Tony's first visit, and I just don't want anything to go wrong. Well, don't worry, me Mijo. It's still the same old Tony. Don't you get hot in this getup? I just offer it up, Memo. Hey, it's time for Lucy! <laughs> Lucy! I love that show, Mama. We always watch it at the convent. What's the matter with them? They don't want to watch, and I don't blame them. <laughs> Already talked to some of his friends, Jefe. It was all just an accident. I'm gonna find him, Jefe. I'll get him to turn himself in before something worse happens. This will all clear up. Vas a ver, Jefe.
I have to see him. No one's allowed to see him. Get out of here. I have to come. No. No. Get out of here. Let's hit the street. Come on. Back it up. Let's hit the street. Everybody said that the police had killed Chucho, but my mother never believed that. She knew that he was meant to die at the river. Chucho's whole life had been on borrowed time. But you cannot cheat fate forever. The spirit of the river had come back to claim what was rightfully his. He had been in for armed robbery. No one got hurt, and a good lawyer could have gotten him off light. But a combination of no money and a bad attitude caught him a few years in La Pinta. My little brother Jimmy was always a loner. You never really knew what was going on inside him, except the anger that was always there. Jimmy's arrival was painful, but at least it was expected. A few days later, they had a surprise visitor. No! Stop it, no! It's her mother! Marcos! Don't you touch her! Don't you touch her! Don't touch the TV. He's touching her. He's not supposed to touch her. You just smack his ass then. I just want to tell you that uh, I left my order. You've left your order? Why? What does that mean? 
Well, <laughs> it means I'm not a nun anymore. So that makes two of us that are out of the pen, huh? Jimmy, callate. Uh, would you give me something to drink, please? What happened? Um, it, uh, it happened when I was working in Central America, you know, doing missionary work, and, um, thank you. A lot of things happened to Mom. And that is, one thing led to another, and, um, I'm married. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm married. But Mama, he's the most wonderful man I've ever known. He's good and he's kind and, <laughs> and I'm so happy. I mean, we were working together and he left his order too. He left his order? He was a priest. Hijo de un sacerdote? Maria, Mama? Maria, Jimmy, Jimmy, get a glass. Mama! Jimmy, mi vida. Maria, Mama? Oh, Evita. Maria. I know it's hard for you to understand. All right? Oh, you don't worry about me. Papa? If it's okay with God, I guess it's okay with us. <laughs> oh, Mama. I'm so happy. <laughs> Really, I am happy. Oh, and I know you're gonna love David. <laughs> and I know he's gonna love you. I'll just go get him. He's outside in the car, I brought him. Yeah, well, bring him in here. We want to talk to him. No, he's outside in the car. I'll just go get him. Just a minute, all right? David Ronconi. Mrs. Sanchez, it is so wonderful to finally meet you. And this is Jimmy. Good afternoon. Tony's told me a lot about you. Well, this is him. <laughs> this is us. <laughs> children, Jose. Antonia married to a priest. Are you up? Yeah. Antonia and a priest, how can this be possible? How could things have changed so much? With Jimmy. Mm. When I think of Jimmy, mm. my querido Jimmy. Mm how beautiful he was, you know? Me. And now... What happened to our children, Maria? <laughs> what did we do wrong? I don't know. <laughs> Ipaco. Still unmarried. Mm -hmm. Wants to be a writer. Who's gonna pay you to do that? Memo, he's... He's still in law school, right? Yeah. <laughs> he's going to be an abogado. Yeah. Come on, come on. Maybe he will do it. Oh. <sighs> Thank God for Memo going to law school, or they would have never gotten a good night's sleep. So what's wrong with wanting to be a writer? 
You got a problem with that? Besides, my crazy family always gave me a lot of great material. But Dad was right. Who's gonna pay me to do that, right? So I went to work for my sister Irene and Gerardo. They had a family restaurant. And over the years, both Irene and her business had expanded together. <laughs> Nothing. They keep on doing the same stuff they did before, all the same political bullshit, you know, helping refugees and stuff. The only difference now is you get the fuck at night. Ah! I don't know what to do. I truly don't. I've been frantic with worry. I, Isabella is my boys, and I love her very much. And we, we she wouldn't just disappear. She just wouldn't. I, d I didn't know where to go. Um, someone said that you might be able to help me. I don't know if Gloria, this is the we're going to help you. All right. Just tell me where the girl was from, what country. Um, El Salvador. David, what do you think? Young girl from Salvador, picked up two days ago. The legal aid group might be able to delay the proceedings, but if we can't trace her, I mean, it's been two days, right? Was she politically involved in any way in Salvador? No, not as much. Oh. Well, her father, I remember we talked about this once, was some sort of union organizer. I think he was killed. Christ, David, what are the chances? As soon as she gets to Salvador, the police will pull her right off the plane. What's her full name? Isabel Magana. Are you saying she's in some sort of danger? Is that what you're saying? That's what I'm saying. Well, but that, that just can't be. I mean, they wouldn't return her if she was going to be in some sort of danger, would they? I mean, this is America. But she wasn't by any chance um, married or engaged, like, to a citizen? No, no, no. Ah! Oh, shit. Come on, tag up, tag up, Holmes. Shit, ref. <laughs> hey, Jimmy. How's the world treating you, Hey, huh? Carnala, what are you doing here? Where's mom and dad? His mom's in church, you know. Dad's only lawns. <laughs> so what are you doing here? If you'd ask me to fix a couple of things in the house, there's no TV over at my place. So what's up with you? That shit over there at your office, huh? Tough. I made this case come through yesterday. Young girl from Salvador. She's been picked up by immigration. We've been able to trace where she is, but if we don't come up with something fast, she's going to be deported. Her father was a union organizer. Yeah, right. So if she's lucky, she's going to end up in jail. But probably she'll end up dead. You know, David and I, we put our brains together. Well, that's a whole lot of brains between the two of you. <laughs> I'm sure you come out with something, huh? Yeah, well, you know, we were thinking that if we could say she was engaged to someone from here, you know, a citizen, we could get her up. I mean, I know it's a long shot, no, but no, I know. No, 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 that'll never work. La Migra's not that dumb. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised they really are that dumb. Plus, I think we can make a good enough case. Yeah? Of course, we gotta find someone who would agree to marry her. We'd, we'd uh, have to prove that an actual wedding took place in order to pull it off. And we'd have to find someone today. Today? Yeah. Forget it. Like I said, that's a bad idea. I mean, come on. No, Even I... if, well... Even if La Migra is dumb enough to buy it, like you say, put that up there. Well, you still need the guy, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, you still need this famous baboso citizen who's gonna marry this girl. There's nobody stupid enough to do that. Check this out. Wait a minute, wait a fucking minute here. You're not thinking that. Is that why you came over here? You're asking me to marry this right, Luca? Hermano, I know it's a lot to ask. A lot to ask? Somebody's life is at stake, Yeah, okay? right, my life is at stake. What the hell is wrong with you? You get your brains all screwed up with all that political bullshit of yours? Look, if you'd just stop being so emotional for a minute, you'd see it's really not a big deal. Not that big a deal? You know, that's your problem. You've always been real bossy. Ever since we were little, you think you know what's best for everybody. You know what you are? You're a fucking control freak. Yeah, that's well, what you you've are. always been a big pendejo, so what? Hey, Tony, Look, all I'm asking you to do is put your name on a piece of paper and save a girl's Get life. Out that's of here. all. You're, you're talking about marriage. I don't even know this girl. Who cares? Look, all you gotta do is put your name on a hey, piece of paper. Excuse me, and... have some respect here. Look, I'm not asking you to do anything. 
Give me the liquid time. Do you mind? Or have babies or anything like that. Just go through the motions for me, Jimmy. Go through the motions? Go through the motions? We're talking about marriage, Carnala. That's marriage. That's out. Jesus, when did you become so bourgeois, huh? Hey, fuck you. And don't you ever call me bushwhacked again, cabrona. Whatever the fuck that means. Look, Jimmy, all it is really is signing your name and saying I do. That's it. And if it's safe... Hey. Listen to me. If it saves a girl's life, then why not? Hm? You and I know the system's for shit. We know that. So we use the system to fuck up the system. That's what I say. You're really starting to piss me off here, Carnala. You know, you always got a way of putting things... It's la pura say. verdad. Who the hell are you to tell me what the fucking truth is, huh? Jimmy. I, I don't want to hear this, Tony. Come just on. Just listen to me for a minute, huh? Would you just relax, please? Hey, hey. Okay. Look, this could be your way of getting back at all of them. Every cop, guard, judge, the whole system. Now, just, just, just think about it. With this one little act, you could say fuck you to the whole establishment. <laughs> If I was a man, I would do it. James Sanchez for Isabel Magana. James Sanchez for Isabel Magana. Yeah. James Sanchez. It says here I released her to the custody of James Sanchez. Your I-130? Do you have your I-130? Yeah, right, right, right. Take it out of the envelope, please. Okay, sign right here. Senora Gloria. You the guy she's gonna marry? Yeah. She loves me, man. Really. She does. She really misses me, too. I can feel it. Wait. Your eye, too. Really, she's crazy about it. We're like this. Thanks. By the power vested in me by the state of California, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Would you please sign this? <laughs> Little brother, you are amazing. You owe me. <laughs> you guys owe me. Good man. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. So, uh, you. I guess I see you all in divorce court next week. Thank you. We'll see you next time, all right? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Really appreciate it. See you next time, all right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It was a family emergency. Irene and I came over from the Ole Cafe, and even Memo was there, all the way from Pinchi West Side. I don't know what we were all supposed to do. But then in our house, the difference between a family emergency and a family party wasn't that big, you know? What were you thinking of? Oye, Jimmy. Hijo. Ven acá, hijo. A ver, explícame, ¿qué es lo que pasa aquí? Pues nada. Nada. This girl says that you're her husband. Hijo, is that true? Well, yeah, like technically speaking, but, but hey, it's not like for real or nothing like that. Jimmy, did you marry her or did you not marry her? Yeah, I did, kind of. A chingao. Talk to her, okay? She can tell you everything. Ay, Dios. What is this, the Spanish Inquisition? Huh? Look, all we did was save a girl's life. And it wasn't easy. So maybe somebody should thank us? That's right, maybe somebody should thank us. Look, I got some shit I gotta do, okay? Oh, you got nothing to do. Nothing. Listen to me, both of you. You always know what's right for everybody with your porqueria politica. 
Did anyone ask Isabel what she wanted? Yeah. What do you mean, what she wanted? Huh? Maybe we should have made some cafe con leche and invited the neighbors over to talk about it? Papa, we didn't have time to. Hija, you just messed up this girl's life without even asking her permission. Hmm? Oh. Well, they were going to deport her without asking her permission. And when she got off that plane, they were going to shoot her without asking her permission. So maybe we should have just left it alone and she would be dead. All nice and neat. That's the problem with life. It's just so messy. Does anybody want any taquitos? <laughs> you young people. You think no one has ever lived before you did. No one knows anything except you. Don't you think I know what it feels like to be picked up by La Negra and sent away? Without ever seeing my family? Without knowing what will happen? Do you want to tell me something about survival? Well, let me tell you this. There are certain things in life that are sacred. Sagradas. And we don't spit on them. Because without them, it doesn't matter if we live or die. Marriage is something we don't spit on. And Isabel believes that she is married. Sorry, Chica, but she thinks she's married to you. Yeah, well, check it out. I ain't married to nobody, see? Hey, you said those two little words. Hey, who asked you to butt in, huh? And I didn't even bring a cake. Y tu te callas? Uy, que tachi. Jimmy, you signed the legal document. Yeah, so what? Te fregaste. So, the law believes that you're married too. Yeah, well, the law's pendejo, carnal. <laughs> that was a political action. I'm a goddamn revolutionary. <laughs> Look, you, you're the one that's gonna have to do all the explaining here, hermana. Because I told you, I'm never gonna see her again. I got some shit to do. It was late when Jimmy got home from all the shit he had to do. Chill. Isabel was probably the first person who didn't let Tony boss her around. Isabel kept coming back no matter what Jimmy said, mainly on weekends and nights when La Senora didn't need her. Then some things started appearing in his apartment that no self-respecting vato loco would ever have in his canton. Good, I got it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Hey, I did it. Come on. 
I was anything to shy, you know. Fork, piece of broken glass. But the pain. Que dolor, no? Not pain. I mean, not like that. What do you mean? Fills me up, you know. You know, it just drowns everything out. And on the inside, I feel like I'm burning. You know, like fire. And outside, I'm just. I'm just like a stone. So like that day, when, when we robbed the store, you know, I put my fist through the glass there, and I saw all this blood, but I didn't feel it. All I felt was the anger. It's like I'm here on the outside now, and I don't give a shit about nothing. It's like I'm still in prison. Alone, but I just, I just keep hearing that screaming in my head. Fucking scream! I know your feelings. I know them. I feel them too. I go around this big city. Grandissima ciudad. But I'm alone. No one know me. When I was little, in El Salvador, 
los soldados que night they pull my father out they kill him right there right there in front of me I was, I, was, I was a little girl, but I see everything. And then we come here and I have no time to be a child, always running. I work, work, only work. And the family, the family I stay with, they're happy, I see them. But is their happiness not mine? No one, no one knows me. Just like your father. And I was just a boy. She looks so great. Yeah, they're always getting pregnant. As soon as you get one trained, teach her some English, she can answer the phone, and boom, she's pregnant. I can't believe you just said that. Gloria, you know it's true. It's not true. Oh, Isabel's worked for me for three years. She's part of the family. I know that I have to find somebody else, but you know what? I'm happy for her. We're all happy for her. <laughs> and so, for the first time, Jimmy joined the parade of workers crossing the bridges. There was something about the idea of being a father. Tomorrow had never mattered to him before. But now, it mattered. As soon as I could, you know, I couldn't get off from the radio. Jimmy, come on, mommy. I'm too bad. What do you mean? What's wrong? Something wrong? You'll be all right? What? what should I do? Should I get somebody? I'll get somebody, all right? Is there a doctor around here? I'll be right back. I'll just, just hang. I'll be right back. Is there a doctor around here? And there's the wife. No, I gotta talk to you. Get the doctor right now. I want you to get the doctor right now. Jesus. Master. Sponge. BP 
he is going down. Suture. That is much. Get Kelly. See if you can find him. Quick. Get him. See what the deal? That's what my mother called them. The souls of women who had died giving birth. They became Siwatateo. The spirits that helped the sun to set. Without them, the sun would not be able to rest. Now, maybe the greatest medical care in the world could not have saved Isabel. Maybe they did everything for her that could be done. But you couldn't convince Jimmy of that. <coughs> he knew that if Isabel had been at one of the fancy hospitals on the west side, that she would be alive. You got to move now? Yeah, what can I do for you? You killed my wife? No. I said you fucking killed my wife? Easy now, easy. Oh my god. You used to be the husband of that young woman. What's her name? Her name was, uh... Yeah, I can't even remember her fucking name, right? Now, like, just one spit more or less. What the fuck is this? No, she's out of my fritz! We fucking killed her wife! We did everything we could! We just killed her, right? Everything we could, man! Everything we could! Get your stuff and I'm just fucking doing, man! You're fucking up, Jimmy! You want to go back to the pizza, man? Huh? Don't go grab the fucking shit, the man! Yeah? The fuck is gonna come on, let's go, come on! Where are they? I knew you'd come back. Your kind always comes back. There was a problem about the baby little Carlitos. Who would take care of him? Irene already had a huge family. Tony and David were always too busy helping other people. And Memo and me, well, we were just useless unmarried men. seeing me in you. Jimmy, he's your son. Nothing you did matters. As soon as he's old enough... When he's old enough to know, you just tell him that his father's dead. You tell him that. You understand? What you're doing is wrong, man. You have no right to hurt people this way. I got the right. I don't want to see nobody. I don't want to hear from nobody. Do you understand? This is gonna do to a jefita and a jefito. No estás pensando, tú. Look at you, got a son. I got nothing, carnal. I got nothing. That is. And the only thing I have to think about is doing my time and not letting the time do me, you know? You just think of me like I'm dead, huh? It hurt mom and dad the most. Everybody else in the family was ashamed of Jimmy. They never talked about him. He was like the family fuck-up. But I didn't see it that way. To me, Jimmy carried a lot of shit for the rest of us. All the hate, all the rage, and all the injustice. But somehow, if it wasn't for him, we couldn't have gone on to do all the things we did. Me with my writing, and Tony with her politics, and most of all, Memo, the pride and joy of the family.
Carlitos grew up to be more of a problem than a vato loco. The corn was tall and green the day that Jimmy came home. Strong, so are the weeds. You remember? Hijo, it's good to see you. I'm happy. I came to tell you that I'm going away, Hefe. I need to start over. Completely. Carlitos. Oh, he gets into a lot of trouble. <laughs> Pero he's got a lot of spirit. He's a fine boy. Just like you. <laughs> That's good. Practice. It's the money I made in La Pinta. Thought it would, you know, help out with Carlitos and all. Carlitos doesn't need any money. He needs a father. He needs you. Es que no puedo, jefe. I can't see him. Not, not the way that I am. I... Maybe later, huh? Maybe some other time. There's no other time, hijo. need you now. Look, I know you aren't going to understand. I... Take the money, huh? I'll send you more. Adios, jefe. Adios. Abuelito! Si, sí, mi chapulín. I need your help now. Por favor. Who's the abuelito? That's Jimmy. He's your father. When Jimmy saw his son, something happened inside him, something powerful that he didn't understand. Carlitos. Hola, mi chavalito. Hola, mi amor. ¿Qué haces? We have a surprise. Come on. 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 Come
one today. Check this out. stupid in the toy store they said this is the name. They don't know nothing at the toy store. Shh, shh, shh. Carlitos, don't be that way. He's your father. He's not my father. I am your father, Carlitos. You're my hijo. This is a stupid toy. Whoever thinks it's good, it's just as stupid. Okay. Get out! Okay. Carlitos! No, no, no. Get out! All right. Get out! No, no, Get out! Get out! Carlitos, stop Carlitos. it already, huh? But he didn't come around. Jimmy tried and tried. Everything he did only made things worse. Your father wants to take you to Disneyland. Don't you want to go to Disneyland yet? No, please. No, please. I don't want to see him anymore. No, it's all right, I understand. He ain't got no reason to want me, Evita. You know, I always thought he'd be there for me when I needed him. I never thought about what he needed. I've never been there for him. So why should I expect him to be here for me now, huh? Take and give them to you later. She could take her kids or something like that. Here go, okay? Jimmy was trying to come back from the dead, and it wasn't so easy. But he was trying real hard to be part of La Familia again. And he had the chance of his lifetime one Sunday when Memo brought his fiancée and her parents all the way from Bel Air to meet everybody. Her name was Karen Gillespie. She and Memo had met at UCLA when they both were law students. And even though she had been born and raised in LA, she and her family had never been to East LA. We are. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Bill, are those bees? Oh, that's right. Uh, my father, he loves to plant vegetables. <laughs> Mind Bandido here. He's a little relaxed. He's kind of a fixer here. As you can see. We've been wanting to meet your daughter. After all the introductions, we got down to the serious business of getting to know each other. Well, it's so nice to have you here. Jose and I are very proud to have you in our home. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Salud. 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 Ah, yes, cheers. <laughs> cheers. cheers. <laughs> Memo always tells us so much about you. Who? Um, they call me Memo. My family calls me that. Uh, it's uh, diminutive for Guillermo. That's, uh, that's William in Spanish. So uh, Memo is like Bill. See? Bill. <laughs> Bill. Oh. Bill. Memo. That's cute. Right. Yeah. That is cute. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Karen certainly has told us all about you folks. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, she has. Thank yeah. you. Bill, um, don't you have a younger brother? Uh, uh, oh, you Jimmy. mean Jimbo. Uh, hey, Jimbo. Jimmy, He's around here. here. Jimbo. This is Jimmy. This is my son, Jimmy. Oh, uh, hello. Bill uh, told us you were away at school. School? <laughs> Not exactly school. Actually, he was in prison for a little while. Prison? I read a lot of books, though. That's what he must have meant. Well, it's just one of those things, you know, that can happen. It's not Bill's fault. Hey, you get me out of here! Come on, 
So, uh, you folks are all from Mexico, huh? Yes. Yeah, you know, my father walked here from Michoacán yeah. in 1926. He was 18 years old. Really? Yeah. Yes, it took me a year to get here. You know, Skyotes. You know, no, wait, wait, wait. I remember when I was in the Sonora Desert. You know, I was attacked by bandidos. You know, they jumped on me. Actually, I, I've never been to Mexico. I've always lived here in Los Angeles, just like yourselves. But he already had family here, right, Papa? Your great uncle, and he had been born here when this was Mexico. <laughs> that must have been a long time. Long ago. time. No, not so long. I remember him, Paco. You remember? Yeah. California. He's buried out in the back. In, his yeah. in the backyard. He said in his will that he wanted to be buried in the back. Dad, that's just an old story. It's there's nobody buried in the backyard, right, Dad? Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's an old family story. Hey, 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 He's your kid, man. Why don't you teach him some manners? I got him, I got him. Just get him out of here, man. Hey, tu cabrón, you think you're better than anybody else here? Just get him out of here. Watch Put your shirt on. Put it on. What's the matter with you anyway, huh? Come here. You know those people that are out there, they're very important to your Uncle Memo. They're gonna be part of La Familia. Shut up, you fucking asshole! Don't you ever talk like that to me again, okay? You understand me? I'm your father, you don't talk to me like that. When he come for me, he's going to come in a big car. I want him to go ahead and come eat me back to Texas. That's who my father is. He's not you. Come here. Come here, Carlitos. I'm your... Come here. like I tried with him. And I really don't want to go away anymore. I'm not alone anymore. I just want to be with my son. You did your best. Sometimes you don't get things back, you know? Sometimes they... When they go away, they go away forever. What are you gonna do now? Because I was thinking about Texas. Why not? Come back a rich man with a big car. <laughs> Adiós, jefe. You make sure to say goodbye to me, Fita. Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, Paco, Tony, Irene. 
エモトゥインクセルとかね<笑>あと<笑>Carlitos was the last to leave when he went to live with Jimmy. And after that, my mother and father lived in the house alone. But my mother, she believed that everyone who lived in the house, we all left something behind. She believed the peace of our spirit stayed behind and lived in all the empty chairs. José, ven, tu café con leche está listo. Vamos, hombre, ándale. Tan si cuar guandacua, acuicucho es suerte. 
We've had a good life. We've been very lucky. It would have been even better if no, no. only... Maria, don't say it. Please don't say it. It is wrong to wish for too much in this life. God has been good to us. We've been very lucky. And our life, it has been very, very good. You're right. We have had a very good life. Remember mi familia. Señorita, señorita, su cuerpo es flor de canela Póngase un vestido blanco y a darle fuego a la vela Mamita, sooner or later, oh oh, yes you will get it Baile merengue, oh oh, baile whatever you want hey. Just move your feet, señorita, like the Dance on the water, you gotta have me negrita, honey in your hips, I dolores, mamita, sooner or later, what oh, yes you will get it, baile merengue, what oh, baile whatever you want, I let the sun señorita awake the day, awake the day, don't wait too long me negrita to move Bye. 